Hello guys, welcome back. Uh, this is continuation of a uh, request to PHP file using Ajax. And so let's continue. Uh, we just uh, grabbed the with the variable you name document get element by the username value, which is basically whatever we type um, in this input. Okay, that's the way we can grab that value. Now I'm going to create the same for the password. So you password is going to be equal to document dot get element by ID and um, user password dot value okay uh, let's save this and um, let's push this a little bit down. Let's save this. Now um, I'm going to show you how uh, you can pass with um, through the URL. Okay, that we can put in here. How you can pass either username and the password. Okay, um, through the get method. Okay, it's pretty simple. So what you have to do and this will pass these two parameters or these two values to the PHP file okay in the URL so uh, and of course we all uh, we uh, are doing this without refreshing or reloading the page remember Ajax doesn't need to reload the page okay so if you did my PHP tutorials uh, remember that whenever we uh, did a login form we needed to submit it and then uh, the page will uh, would reload okay to um, to return the answer okay or the request in this case using Ajax you'll see that uh, the URL itself will not change okay and this will uh, we will not need to reload the page at all okay so it's very very cool and useful thing using um, Ajax um, and passing values through uh, to PHP scripts, okay, uh, using Ajax, very cool. So uh, URL, and here we type uh, the name of the file that we will create the PHP file, and I'm gonna call it. Where is it? Test test login dot PHP. I'm gonna call it the same of the uh, HTML file, but with PHP extension, of course, and. Um, this is how we pass the parameters okay so you have to type the question mark symbol and now you type the parameter name okay which is here this parameter so we have to use this parameter and this name and password so name is is going to be equal <coughs> to uh, where is it here? Two and um, equal, and then you type uh, single or double quote. Sorry, and between them you type plus your name. Okay, and plus again, and single double quotes again, and then and, and you remember this from um, our PHP tutorials, right? how we can pass more than one parameter. You just have to type the symbol here and then type again the parameter that you want to pass and the value of it. Okay. So password, which is this here, will hold the value of um, plus of, uh, where is it, U password. Here it is you password okay simple as that and here we can close this with um, semicolon okay so test login PHP where to send the um, the values uh, question mark okay to separate the parameters then the parameters name is going to be equal to you name okay this here and um, password is going to be equal to you password, okay? 
So this is how we can send parameters uh, with AJAX. Okay, guys, pretty simple. So let's go and create our PHP file. Let's save this and let's create this PHP PHP and let's do it. Uh, before we create PHP, I'm going to create just a little and simple database. So let me open the browser and type localhost localhost php my admin oops sorry where is it localhost oops i forgot i always forgot to start the xamp control panel so i hope you guys have this installed probably you have if you don't have this, you have to download it. Okay, go uh, to Google and search for XAMPP. Uh, then you start Apache and start MySQL. Okay, and uh, now I can type here PHP my admin. Enter. And let's wait just a second and we'll create only a simple database with uh, username and password okay nothing nothing fancy okay here we are and now uh, I'm going to create the MySQL database so I'm gonna call this um, test login and uh, create perfect here it is okay uh, now um, a new table so a new table I'm gonna call this uh, users number of fields it's going to be three okay ID uh, username and password. Execute. And here we are. So this is the first one. ID. Integer. Size. Um, 20. And down here. Null primary okay this is a primary auto increment as well and okay that's it let's go to the second one this is going to be uh, username and here integer no it's var char and 20 as well and I think it's all okay and the third one it's going to be password and varshar 20 and that's it okay so let's proceed where is it click go Oops, I'm sorry. Um, where is it? Save. Click save. There it is. Okay. Now we have ID, uh, name, and password. Okay. Um, three fields in our table users. Perfect. Okay. Now uh, we can uh, go back to our PHP file and uh, we can save this as 
test login php remember you have to save it inside htdocs directory save this okay let's start doing some php so the first thing i want to do is um is create two variables uh name and the variable name will hold the pass um the parameter that we passed through ajax which is going to be name okay where is it here okay this is the parameter that we want to grab from the url so this is how we grab it okay so for the password i'm going to create also the variable password and get the password okay perfect now down here I'm going to type if name and password exists to this else type something echo um, you have to type a username and password or something like that okay now in here I'm gonna first start by uh, connecting to the MySQL database so I hope you remember that from our PHP tutorials so MySQL connect parenthesis inside the parenthesis first is the name of the server which is localhost by default if you were using a ZAMP um, comma and then uh, root which is uh, the username by default if you're using ZAMP uh, is also this is also your um, username okay root and the third parameter is going to be a password okay but by default we don't use any password or ZAMP doesn't use any password um, sorry uh, not ZAMP um, PHP Madman okay MySQL so uh, now we type or die okay this means that if any of these parameters are uh, okay or correct you will have a message in your browser saying um, problem with connection okay now down here I'm gonna type another mysql syntax or method which is mysql select database so you have to type this to select your database and the database is called um, test login right now down here I want to create a variable query this will hold a mysql query which is um, select all from users which is our table where uh, name is going to be equal um, to it's going to be equal to the variable name and uh, here here oops here here okay if you guys don't know how to um, how to connect to your database or you are a little bit uh, you lack uh, uh, you don't have a lot of uh, basics of PHP you can go to my I recommend you guys to go to my PHP video tutorials okay and learn this before you can do any Ajax at all okay but I probably I think that at this point if you are uh, watching this video you already know uh, PHP okay 
So inside behind um, sorry below the query we type num rows and mysql num rows parentheses query and now we type if num rows is not equal to zero do this and this is going to be a while loop which is while row is equal to mysql fetch a sock query uh, do this and let's type um, let's create a variable db name um, equals to <coughs> row name and db password equals to row password okay and um, now in here we type other if oops another if condition if name equals exactly to uh, password uh, sorry if name equals exactly to db name uh, do this and another condition which is if um, password equals exactly to db password okay guys this uh, video is taking too long uh, I'm gonna cut it off and proceed in the next video okay